get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. This is Kevin Cassis for IFL TV in association with Mackinson in Marbella. We're at the public workout here for Golovkin Brook. I'm joined by Kel Brook. Great turnout here at Covent Garden, Kel. Wicked turnout, wicked turnout. Uh, I, was loving, I was loving the energy from the fans today. You've seen people with billboards up, you've seen kids with gloves, pens, pictures, you know, the media were there. You know, the attention in this fight, you know, is growing as the days go on and um, I can feel it in the air, it's getting really exciting now. Did you manage to watch any of Golovkin's workout? I don't suppose you did, did you? No, you know, we got down late, you know, and uh, I should have been actually been on before him, but he needed to, to get the ball rolling. We were late, so, you know, I've seen him coming out after. It looks like he's trimmed down a little bit from last time I seen him, but we've got, we've got a fight Saturday night. This fight has really captured uh, the boxing public's imagination and also just casual fans as well. Um, everyone's interested to see Golovkin over here for the first time against one of our own in, in yourself. Um, there has been a big buzz around this event since it was announced and into fight week now. You know, I think a lot of, a lot of people are seeing, you know, the, sh the weight and the shape I, 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 I've been in. You know, so many weeks out, you know, they've, they've seen the before and after pictures. They've seen, you know, they've seen little glimpses of me on the footage where, you know, I've kept the speed. You know, the speed's there, but I'm looking a lot bigger, stronger, healthier in the face. You know, coming into this, coming into this fight, you know, I'm a natural weight. I feel very strong. I'm not ratty. I'm coming in sharp and comfortable. You know, so I'm looking forward to seeing the new and improved of me. You know, full of, you know, full of. Fully hydrated, full of full of food and a belly full of food and uh, you know energized. Has it been a less stressful camp for you not having to make one four seven? It's been a lot less stressful, you know, a lot less, you know, because when I'm working one four seven, I'll have something to eat, I'll jump on the scales, I'll have something to drink, I'll jump on, I'll go to the toilet, drink, you know, it's like, you know, I'm stressing myself out for weeks, and I'm going to make one four seven. I'm stressing myself, I can't sleep because I'm that hungry, like. You know, and uh, this, I've been a joy to train. I've been, I've been coming, we are, you know, every, every single day with a good night's sleep in me and ready to hit, hit every training session 100%. You know, I've, I've done everything and, and more what my coaches have been asking from me. And uh, I'm just looking forward to being, to being 100% in this fight, you know, coming in. Not drain, not after taking a lot of weight off to make 147, coming in at 160 strong, healthy, ready. When I spoke to uh, Gennady Golovkin yesterday um, and asked him whether this fight's unlikely to go 12 rounds, he said that he wants to have a street fight with you in the ring. What did you make of that? You know, that, that's his fight. That's his fight. Um, him wanting to have a street fight with me. You know, there's no secret of the big puncher. You know, uh, I'm not interested in what he what he what he wants to do. I'm going to do what I want to do, and I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> I've told you that. You know, I'm going to concentrate on what I need to do. Get the jab off first. Have a little walk when I want to walk. You know, use my mind, my boxing skill. You know, and uh, you're going to you're going to see you're going to see that I'm not I'm not I'm not a small guy. You're going to see that me and him are similar size. You know, he might be a bigger puncher than me. He might not. You know, we're going to see, aren't we, sat there? I've definitely got venom in both hands. His trainer, Abel Sanchez, believes that this will come down to skill set rather than power. What do you think about that? I think so. You're going to, you're going to see that, you know, the pedigree. You know, we know that he won everything in the amateurs, you know, but we're under the brightest lights now. And we, we, we're men, you know, we're not, we're not amateurs, we're professionals. It's, you know, we've got round after round, you know, it's going to come down to, to the, you know, to like Leonard Hagler, using your feet, smart, sharp, fight when you need to fight, you know, you're going to see it all in this fight. 
Prince Nassim Hamid, who is here today, says that he feels you will stop him in the 11th round. That's his feeling. That's his feeling. And you know what he did today. You know, he, you know, a lot of people listen to what he needs to say. You know, um, when I walked into the gym, he was a man, Prince Nassim. You know, and uh, he knows boxing. He knows he sat down with me, you know, not, not too long ago. I looked him in the eyes, I looked at him, and I told him, you know, I've stared death in the face, you know, this. It's a hat, you know, this boxing thing. They build these fighters up and there's, there's, there's all this hype there. Forget all the hype, there's, there's a man like me, you know. Is he, is he built like me? Is he determined? Does it, does, is, is he meant to be like me? Does he use a secret like me? No, let's see. We'll see. All I know is I'm willing. I'm willing to go for whatever I need to to win. And my record shows I like to win. I'm here to rip them titles away from him. Just finally, um, talking to Joey Nelson, he said that if he was in the corner, he'd be telling Dominic Ingle for you to jump on Golovkin early um, from the off, um, and that that could be your chance within the first three rounds. Everybody's got their own opinion in this fight. That's why this fight's getting more exciting. You know, they see, they, like I said, they see me so many weeks out with the weight. They see the, the physique. They see, they see different things in, you know, as weeks go on and weeks go by. They see how I am coming into fight week, how relaxed I am. What, what does he know what we don't know? What, what's, this, you know, this, this, this fight, it's, it's going to come down to the mind. It's going to come down to the mindset. You know, we all know that he can punch, we all know that I can punch, we all know that there's not going to be nothing dramatic in size. So what's it going to come down to? Who can perform under the brightest lights? Who's made, who's made to be in this spotlight right now? All of the lights? All of them lights, all of the lights. <laughs> Saturday night, it's going down. If you haven't got a ticket, tune in, Sky Sports got, Box if, Office. If you haven't got a ticket, you need to see something very special. This is history in the makings. Do not miss out on this one. Kel Brook, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Uh, final press conference is on Thursday, Wayne, Friday, and then it's on. It's showtime. It's showtime, baby. Not many sleeps left. And it's time <laughs> to dance under the bright lights, baby.